prepared for. I stepped up the energy that, that VCU um, came out with. I stepped up the game plan that, that Beth and her staff did. Really had us on our heels, you know, and I just felt like we just weren't getting to the paint. Some of that was their physicality. Some of that was just, you know, us just kind of playing too far away from the basket. And, and I thought that changed a little bit. Um, kind of the, the beauty of having older kids is I don't think there was any panic. You know, I think we took a time out of two minutes before in the, in the first quarter uh, left and, and maybe settled a little bit there. But I thought just that second quarter timeout, it was like, yo, man, like for whatever reason, but we seem to be here all the time against VCU. You know, we just get off to rough starts. Um, but the positive to that was it was with a group that had been there before doing the same thing. And so I felt, as much as you're just saying that, I felt there was a lot of confidence coming back at me uh, from the group. And, and that's just a, a really great thing to have. Um, and then that second half, and, you know, I felt good about things in that second half until maybe the end of the third quarter. You know, like I thought we had, you know, we had the ball, things were, were good. We had an untimely turnover. Um, I know she didn't make the free throw, but, you know, uh, Sarah goes down for kind of an and one. And all of a sudden now you're chasing six. I thought Grace's play starting the quarter it was huge for us. You know, that, that cut that thing to three right away. And then it was just a back and forth game. And, um, you know, just really proud of our kids. And, and I know Beth should be proud of her kids because that, that's a very, very good basketball team. And, and they're, they're going to still make some noise. Um, but just really incredibly proud of our players, the way they bounce back and resiliency tonight. How much did the switch to the zone in that second period change this game? Um, it, it, it was everything, um, and, and probably me being stubborn uh, to, to not do it earlier. Um, I'm sure my, my assistants are all nodding their head right now uh, as I say that out loud, probably our players too. I, I did feel like we could have guarded them. And, and again, I know Grace, Grace got put in timeout maybe early in that first quarter and just kind of had a little resting spot for her. Um, and they took advantage uh, of us defensively during that stretch. And then, you know, some of that is just sometimes you throw stuff against the wall and, and didn't feel like the zone would be able to, to, to stay in it the whole time or at least play that way. Um, but I thought our kids really got some confidence. And there's never a positive to taking a, a deficit like that. But sometimes, you know, when that starts to dwindle a little bit, that can be hard, you know, playing a, you know, playing from the perimeter uh, at that spot. So, the, the zone defense, I know it worked for us last time against them, and I thought that was a huge, I, I thought our players played really well in the zone today. Hey, Coach, um, just your thoughts. Obviously, the, the game was almost fairly similar to the matchup on January the 3rd. So just talk about, like, the perseverance of this team. Obviously, BC having the early lead, and then you guys coming back and uh, winning both games in almost the same fashion. Your thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I know this is a rivalry, but, you know, I, I like those guys over there. I like the way they play. Love, love Beth. And, so it, it's two tough losses for them. You know, I, I know that. We've all been on the other side of that. It felt like they were in control probably into the fourth quarter on both of these games. Um, I, I, but I also, you know, I don't think they lost the game. To, to our kids' credit, um, and I mean this completely respectfully, I just thought our players were, like, locked in. There just wasn't a panic. You know, some of the things that we weren't doing with the ball moving, ball movement, cutting, you know, getting the free throw line, some of that things that, that, that we've done, you know, their, their defense was outstanding all night. But, you know, I think we scored half our points in the fourth quarter. You know, to have 30 points against that defense in the fourth quarter, that's that's not going to happen against them, you know, probably ever again. Um, so I thought, yes, it was resiliency, but I just thought we kind of got back to us and, and played some really good offense uh, and got some timely stops in that fourth quarter. Grace, as a local kid, does this matchup mean anything a little extra to you? Uh, I think for sure, especially coming here freshman year, realizing what the environment is like when you play a cross-town rivalry like this. We take it very serious, but also where BC take it serious, so does Richmond, we and we took pride this year in playing them each time, and they gave us, they, it was a hard battle, but we came on top and I'm proud of us. Coach, talk about Grace's performance tonight. Um, 11 of 11 at the line, 6 of 13 from the field, uh, team high 23 points, she was outstanding. I mean, you said it, she was outstanding, you know, and, and it's, I hate to, in no way do I take this for granted. Um, it, it's just been incredibly, you know, if, if you want to talk, and I know senior night's coming, and, and probably don't even want to think about this, but over the, the course of four years, watching the development, and, and not just on the court, uh, but just her, her leadership, um, just kind of, I've said this, and I mean this as a compliment, kind of her swag, and just her confidence level right now is like, even if she's making mistakes, it's like, I say it's hard to get mad at her, but like, I don't need to, you know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those that like, you know, coach, I got this, and it's yeah, yeah we're, we're we're good. You know, like she she'll be she can give you a five or six, maybe more than that in her mind. You know, she's hard on herself. But there's a couple moments where it's just like, yo, like you know what she can do, and it was just got this. You know, and, and putting the ball in her hands there at the end. I mean, this this was a lot of her just making plays uh, today, and just not saying that she couldn't do this before, but just the growth and everything that she's done over the last four years. 
it, it's been a joy to coach. And like I said, in no way am I taking this for granted. Uh, but it's it, it's been really really cool to watch her. Uh,